Hey you guys, my name is Jared, father of four. I'm married 18 years. I like video editing. I'm a Bible worker. And uh, what else? Anything else that's important? I guess I think you hit it all right. Yeah, that's that's about it. Um, I like <laughs> Bible prophecy, Revelation series and getting people excited about Jesus and tech in general. Went more in debt in an interview with Little Light Studio. So if you guys want to see more about that, we, you guys can check out that video. This is my really good friend, Patrick. Hey, everyone. Yeah, uh, my name is Patrick. Didn't grow up in the church. I actually got baptized in 2020. One of the reasons why I, I kind of came to the church um, at first was because I was watching a lot of Bible prophecy videos online and I was watching Jared and um, School for Prophets uh, as well as Little Light Studios and yeah the day I got baptized uh, I recognized Jared I was like small world. So he's just a really good mind uh, he's just been a really good friend along this project helping me to kind of put things together. Uh, I'm gonna call on the next person a uh, random Ryan Day. Yeah so I'm the uh, I'm the Newest general manager of the 3ABN Praise Him Music Network here at the Three Angels Broadcasting Network. Um, I manage an entire network. We produce uh, high quality music footage and music programs uh, that go all around the world. Been in ministry now for about 11 years. I was with Amazing Facts as a full time evangelist uh, before I came to 3ABN, and I've been with 3ABN now for about five years. So, AFCO graduate also? AFCO graduate. Yeah. <laughs> Brother Cameron, I like to call him the uh, Elon Musk of the Seventh day Adventist Church. The brother's 18 years old. I'm setting you up for success, brother man. He is a dreamer. Um, go ahead and take it from there. Oh, he pressed the wrong button. <laughs> um,. Well, I, I don't know about the Elon Musk comparison, but uh, laying that aside, I have been working on um, a project under the organization called Rebrand Prophecy. And basically the goal is to rebrand the perception of Bible prophecy from something boring and confusing and scary to something that is truly beautiful and personal and representative of the the beautiful story that that is the great controversy and God's desire to reunite with his children with an animated series that we're working on called Above. Four season series, animated series, um, not a documentary series or a, you know, a, that, that sort of content, but it's a fully narrative film series um, animated to tell prophecy from the perspective of the people who lived it. Daniel, uh, Nebuchadnezzar. For me, two years ago, I thought that prophecy was boring and for Bible scholars, and I didn't really know how it um, impacted my personal life with Christ. I thought, I have a relationship with Christ, I love Jesus, um, why do I need prophecy? That's just for people who want to get more involved. And there's a lot of people like that out there. Um, a lot of young people that I've met, some who have even left the church because of bad presentations of Bible prophecy that have scared them away or given them a very warped picture of the character of God films and video games and music, all of these things change our culture in very significant ways. And to not tap into those, to be a culture changer for Christ, um, they're all about spreading ideas and it would be a, it would be foolish of us not to, you know, really get into that. So that's why I'm so excited to hear all of these, um, these stories of, of what all of you guys are doing. Absolutely incredible stuff. Um, like I'm, I'm getting really hyped hearing all of this because uh, it's this is the way that the leave that the message will be spread like leaves of autumn is through tapping into the modern technology that we have accessible to us today, um, and we would be fools not to use that, not to get good at it, and not to you know um, use that to its best advantage to spread the the gospel. Thanks, bro. You just stole all my fire and you did it way better than I could ever do it. Thank you, bro. That was amazing. Um, moving on, dude, you can keep on going too, I tell you. You should listen to this young brother. H how old are you, bro? H how old are you, Cameron? 18. 18. Rebrand Prophecy. Amen. <laughs> brother Sean is a really cool guy. We're going to move over to him. Brother Sean Pock, I, I, when I had the... Um, the booth at GYC for Prophecy Quest, I, there was this tall brother that just came walking in the middle of the booth and he was there basically the whole time. He loves this game and he's a very smart kid. And um, Brother Sean, I'll let you introduce yourself. 
Hello, hello. My name is Sean Pack. I am currently a college student studying uh, mathematics with a minor in computer science at the University of Georgia. I have been uh, pretty much involved in like uh, like all things like related to like game development kind of stuff since I was very little because it was always my dream to be like a to be to create something one day that it could essentially take over the world. <laughs> That was that was something that was always like in, in within my head. I like that was like something. But then I realized it's not a good idea to take over the world. You know, you can't not necessarily feasible. Nor is it a very Christ-like kind of thing to do. So I switched my mind instead to more focus more towards undoing things that could influence people around the world. And that's how I got into falling into love with a uh, with programming essentially because it was a, it was it was a sort of outlet that I could create my own worlds, create my own sort of small universes, and share these experiences with other people with them. And that's why I, when I found Prophecy Quest at GYC, it was very interesting to me because to be able to share this experience that, that we believe as Adventists to other people, it was very strongly rooted and something I like to see. And that's about me. To share this experience, well, like, I think I need to have you write for me, bro. That's, uh, bro, that's pretty good. Brother Sean's a really cool guy. Uh, he actually got in contact with me. He found out about my idea, and then I found out that there's someone that is kind of doing something that I want to do as a Bible worker, and uh, Sean, go ahead and take it, man. My name's Sean Hoffman. Um, I'm a virtual reality software developer. Uh, I've been developing uh, Bible virtual reality since about 2015. Uh, when virtual reality was first, like the developer kits were first coming out. Uh, so we've been kind of, from the very, very beginning, um, we started doing ministry with it. Uh, we built this tabernacle first, started going out to public events and uh, sharing it with people. And then we started realizing this could be a real outreach. So we started going to bigger and bigger fairs. Uh, we've developed uh, about seven, eight different virtual reality experiences now. Yeah, we've got uh, Noah's Ark, the tabernacle, uh, the prophecies of Daniel chapter 2, 7, currently work on 8 and 9. And then we have like a creation science museum where we've been doing like 3D scanning of, of real fossils from real museums and then putting those in the virtual museum so like kids can pick up the fossils, uh, they can walk with the dinosaurs, climb up in the tree houses, um, go underwater with the alligators. This last year we handed out about 4,300 books we're at and a lot of them were in Florida traveling around all over the United States, uh, handing out books, sharing the virtual reality. Uh, it's really, really been effective. Uh, everybody wants to try virtual reality, so it's, it's like the prime time they get into that field right now. Name of your ministry that more people could find out more information? Yeah, it's called the Virtual Reality Bible Museum, and it's vrbm.org. Yeah, I'm glad to be here. My name is Andrew 42. Uh, I also go by Andrew, that's fine. Um, I am a, a creative, a graphic designer, freelance uh, graphic designer uh, with uh, 42design.co and uh, I'm also an admin over at the oneaccordtheguild.com. You can check that out. We have our, we have our, uh, our server, our own server where we uh, make a space for gamers and creatives and we'll probably hear more about that later, but happy to be here. Love telling people about Jesus, love teaching. Uh, love using uh, digital tools to uh, proclaim the good news. One Accord the Guild. I, I When I first saw it, I was at GYC with Jai and I was like, wow, this is cool. There's like an, a, like an actual Adventist Guild gamers that are trying to show the sanctuary and the Three Angels message to the world. I've, I know you guys built like a Minecraft server and have videos on the sanctuary. Yeah, we do Minecraft videos all the time. We've we've built out the uh, the book of, of Genesis. We started from Genesis, worked our way out, and then we have some other events in there. So we've got full scale uh, builds of Jerusalem and the Garden of Eden, uh, Noah's Ark, uh, some other really cool stuff. And we always invite people to come alongside of us and and contribute and you know see what creative juices they can contribute to the. Nice. Our, man, our Minecraft world. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Cool. Brother Jai, you want to take the next one? Sure. I'm Jai or Justin. I also go by Cranky Rainbows Online. Uh, I'm the also a part of One Accord the Guild, but I'm also the uh, founder and creator of Eden's Conflict. Eden's Conflict is a Bible strategy card game. It's designed to um, put you into scenarios where you learn how to utilize scripture promises to defeat temptations. So your cards battle on the table. And it's a cooperative play game, so it's designed to help 
bring communities and people together where it's not you versus each other, it's us versus the tempter, which is the game. So as you work together, you overcome the tempter in different ways. You learn to power up your Bible verses. You actually learn scripture in the game. Um, and it's about six years that I've been working on this, but only for the last six months have I been doing it full time, took time off work, and I've been focusing on this as my full time ministry. So, yeah, so it, it looks like a really good quality game, too. Um, I've, I've seen it myself, and you've had a Kickstarter on it, and you have an actual cool game. And I saw people, they love the game so much that they were buying like the OG original game because he didn't have any more to hand out. And I used to, I, I used to kind of hate on Christian board games because I never thought that you could really gain or learn or build Christian character un until I saw this game. And uh, Jai has a lot of good in, uh, input. Um, he's part of the One Accord uh, Guild as well, and he has really good input uh, when it comes to the Three Angels message, tech, and the spirit of prophecy, and just kind of merging that together. It's really good, uh, brother Jeremy. Uh, I have known Brother Jeremy now for a few years. Uh, he's into analytics. I love YouTube analytics too, and that's where we kind of started. Go ahead, Brother Jeremy. Hey, so I'm Jeremy. So I'm the um, visionary officer for Christian Digital Network and also the CEO for um, Digital Wave. And so basically our vision is that we want to get the word out in a big and mighty way um, in the next decade. So we have a vision to get 12 billion um, YouTube messages and other, you know, Facebook and other um, social media messages out um in the remnant church messages out in the next 10 years so we have a big plan and uh we've been so we're a global uh ministry and so one of the uh, one of the things that i want to help jared out with is that once he creates this um phenomenal um you know um, application we want to get hundreds of millions of people to come onto um, his application we already have the strategy plan and everything to make this happen so we just have to build it and we're going to get the people on it he is definitely a visionary, really good friend that loves Jesus. And he recently uh, introduced me to uh, Brother Fisher. He's a, a visionary like like myself. Um, and, and in fact, in a, uh, some of the visions, we kind of have a lot of similarities. And he kind of, he's, he's, he's paved the pathway for a lot of things. I've, I've noticed that Prophecy Quest and, and all of the components of it, it's more than just one individual's thought in mind, but it's a, it's a compilation of different dreamers. It's Brother Fisher, you want to kind of introduce yourself? Good evening, everybody. Uh, my name's Ray Fisher. Um, I am the co-founder with Jeremy in Digital Wave. I am a, I'm a big data guy, I'm a behind the scenes guy, um, but I am uh, very vocal in a lot of things. I consider myself a serial entrepreneur. Um, I've been in IT for over 30 years. Prior to that, I was in uh, security for the government and military uh, in the Marine Corps uh, intelligence uh, the two there are two things that happen when you're a marine that was a recon you either become a mercenary or you give your life to Christ um, because of the foundation that I had in the church I decided to give my life back to Christ so um, over the last 25 years I've been uh, pioneering in machine learning artificial intelligence uh, as well as cybersecurity. I'm finishing up a master's in cybersecurity management policy, and um, I will be doing my PhD. Uh, my thesis in, for my PhD will be uh, around technology and the role that it plays in the science of redemption. So, kind of a big brain, but a sinner saved by grace. Uh, Sister Murray. Hi, I am Murray. I'm one of the founding members of One Accord the Guild. Um, that started because I actually, at the beginning of the pandemic, was praying. I was like, Lord, I want to do something. I don't know what will. And then I decided to do um, the Revival Reformation uh, website. Started, it's like, hey, let's do 100 days of prayer. And I was like, that's a really interesting idea. And you guys get random people that come into uh, your servers and then you guys have conversations with them. Yeah. Um, I it's really... a lot of mental health stuff and it's a lot of just people um, helping people through problems. Younger people, especially uh, our original target audience was like the 15 to 25. And really our target audience has turned out to be between 15 to 35. You guys have really paved the way for a lot of people and really done a lot of work and really appreciate a, a lot of what you guys have done and still are doing. Brother from Simla 2, I tell you what, I met this guy, uh, I think at, G no, it wasn't at GY, I forgot where I met you at. 
or maybe it was online, but we started talking and he does some amazing art. He has an amazing YouTube channel. He create he helped create these life-size beasts that are carved out, the four beasts of Daniel 7. Um, go ahead, bro. I'll let you take it. Um, yeah, my, my name is Jason and uh, I grew up Adventist and I actually left the church and became a Satanist and got into drugs and uh, dropped out of school to play video games and uh, God pulled me out of it and uh, so now I just take took art in the video games and all that and started uh, using it for the Lord and try to reach people through that. He has really cool deck of cards that I've seen and really good magazines that are sanctuary centered and the art is fantabulous. Really, really cool outreach content. Um, where can people find you besides Similitude on YouTube, but where else can they find you, bro? Uh, Thesimilitudes.com. Yeah. And there you can find his deck of cards and his magazines. This is really good stuff that uh, our, our youth are into. And like, I don't know if you guys have noticed a pattern, but every single entity here is able to somehow reach our culture, the youth and the people within our demographics. Amen. Yeah, my name is Ernie Hernandez. I run a company called New Creation Media, and I'm dedicated to doing evangelistic work through the digital means. So I personally, like Jared said, I do audio as my first prof uh, profession, so mix and master music. Um, my second profession I taught myself, which is videography. So I tend to find myself doing more video work than audio now these days, um, but all of it will culminate, especially for a project like Jared is trying to do here, sound effects and all that kind of stuff. I started in school, I love doing that kind of things. And I just, like actually today, I just finished a, a big project for uh, a literature evangelism team in Southern California. So I'm a busy guy, I do a lot of things. I run my own YouTube channel. And then of course, I'm one part of the music ministry with my wife, so I do preaching. Oh, she's a very talented singer, so we're trying to make as best high quality sacred music as possible. And uh, that starts with us being informed about how to record things and teaching others that we can do it. <laughs> we can do it well, right? It doesn't take much to give and get good quality if we just know what we're doing. So that's what I'm dedicated to doing. And I love working with these guys at One of the Chord, uh, the Guild, of course, doing Minecraft stuff and other videos. So working with Jared, it's, it's been amazing. Trent, Trent, um, can you uh, tell us a little bit about yourself? my friend sure yeah definitely um yeah so i met uh jared a few years ago uh we we're both um AFCO graduates i think he graduated a year before me uh, i graduated 2015 from there um i became an adventist in 2014 and just absolutely just fell, fell in love with the the truth and the lord and the message that you know the adventist church has to give to the world um and god's been able to use me in absolutely ways I never thought possible. Uh, I had a spinal cord stroke back in 2004 when I was 17, paralyzed me from the neck down. Um, and by his grace, I've gotten so much function back. You know, I'm 100% independent. It will do everything on my own. Um, I've been married five and a half years. And during that time, I've been able to travel to many different countries, you know, giving Bible prophecy seminars. And um, back here in the States, uh, just recently, um, I've been um, reaching out to um, teenagers and young adults and uh, just sharing my testimony and, um, you know, teaching them, you know, how to live in the world while, you know, still, you know, uh, staying loyal to God and everything like that. And one of the things that I found that really, uh, that has really been able for me to reach out to a lot of kids is when I tell them that, yeah, hey, I'm going to school for video game design. Um, I'm going to Full Sail University, halfway through my bachelor's degree in uh, game design there. Um, just finished a stint at uh, Blizzard Activision, where I was a QA tester there. Um, and I just absolutely just love learning more and more about technology, um, learning how to do everything I can to be able to create realistic, deep, intense uh, video games. When Jared came to me about uh, um, this idea that he has for this biblical video game i was a little skeptical at first until he started telling me what he wanted to do and i'm like dude i am like all in 100 percent on that and so i'm really excited to see where we can go with this and i think you know with people that i see so far if we can get people like this um there's no way that we we can't you know reach this goal of getting a spectacular game out there that people are gonna love 